of matter. We're going to learn about the states of matter. Matter is all around us and it can exist in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. Are you ready to learn more? Let's go! Firstly, let's talk about solids. Solids are things like ice, rocks and even your desk. They have a definite shape and size, which means they don't change unless something acts on them. For example, a block of ice will stay the same shape and size unless it melts. Next, let's talk about liquids. Liquids are things like water, milk and even oil. They don't have a definite shape, but they do have a definite volume. That means they can change their shape to fit their container, but they won't change in size unless you add or take away some liquid. Finally, let's talk about gases. Gases are things like oxygen, helium and even your breath. They don't have a definite shape or size, which means they can expand or shrink to fill any container they're put in. Now, let's look at what happens when matter changes state. For example, when you heat up a solid, like ice, it can turn into a liquid, like water. This process is called melting. When you cool down a liquid, like water, it can turn into a solid, like ice. This process is called freezing. When you heat up a liquid, like water, it can turn into a gas, like steam. This process is called evaporation. When you cool down a gas, like steam, it can turn into a liquid, like water. This process is called condensation. Remember, matter can exist in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. And matter can change state by melting, freezing, evaporating or condensing. We hope you had fun learning about the states of matter. Keep exploring the world around you. See you next time. Goodbye.